Okay. So let's see. We're gonna head to the parents' room. Oh gosh, I meant I meant to grab this. Grab this, please. Here we go. And in here we go. It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if we can actually save our little friend. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flagpole. It's not very nice though wanting to tape Ted to a flagpole. There. Is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now and then we get the photo. Okay, so let's have a look. One oh seven. There we go. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Hey, these are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. Let's see. There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. Photo thingy. Here we go. Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house and he did something to Flint. I have to find mom and dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. We found a piece of his robe earlier and now this photo. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Um, this could be just a prank is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie and see if she can tell us something about the fabric. Yeah, you're right. We have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so to we do. Wait. So, how have you been lately? Really smart and intelligent thing to do. Won't attack Rusty, but why? Hmm. Starting. Do I have to go into the room with Millie? I don't want to go in with Millie. I don't want this to hurt Millie. Okay, so let's see. Can I get it to go out the window? 
Yes, just escape. Millie! Millie's alive, though. I think. Let's go try Millie. Millie? Go, 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 go. I must go see Millie. Millie? Millie? Oh gosh, come on! Faster! Come on, come on, come on! We must go check on Millie. You know when you hear someone scream, naturally you would run, you wouldn't walk there. Millie, are you okay? We heard a scream. Oh, thank goodness you're here. It was him, the Red Man. You just missed him. We found a photo. He's in my house, Millie. You just missed him. He must have heard you two coming, because he jumped out the window seconds before you came in. I can't imagine what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. It's okay, Millie. We're here now. You're safe. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. What about Millie? Are we gonna leave her alone? What if the Red Man shows up? She'll be fine. Millie's a tough broad. She'll probably whack the hell out of him until he's had enough and surrenders to local authority. Millie, are you gonna be fine on your own? Don't worry about me, little miss. I'll go and find some place to hide. You two better be careful okay, out there. Okay, Millie. I'll just take the nail with me. Poor Millie. I'll take it with me. With some proper crafting, it can be used to access things out of my reach. Okay. Gosh. Poor Millie. That was close. Okay, so... Let's look. Are you even try? Oh wait, I know. There we go. We that on this. That actually worked? You just unlocked <laughs> something with an old rusty nail? How convenient is that? That's just lazy writing. Don't be such a negative Nancy, Snoop. Of course it worked. My genius knows no bounds. Okay, so... Now... Yay, I got the hook Okay, thingy. so we're gonna combine the hook thingy with that. This I won't know, hold on its own. So I can do this. There. Now I can have higher aspirations. Okay, now I gotta go this way. I'm going to study. Grab the thing. Go in here. Grab the key. Visit the... Go in the attic. Get the ink. Uh, there we go. I'll take this key with me, just in case. It's always yes, good it to is. have keys right, around. Let's leave. Go to the attic. Talk to our wonderful little dog friend, Brian. Is this to get into the attic? I'll skip the dialogue obviously with Brian because we've already spoken to Brian previously. Okay. So... Millie, Rust, and the mugshots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder. Was it to keep everyone at bay till they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot Brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Wise guys, reasoning with them is a fruitless effort. 
However, the little information I got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous. I mean, more than usual. We found some clues around the house that could help us find Flint. But so far, everything is leading nowhere. I've examined the evidence myself, but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate that the last case in my career would be like this. Everyone knows the story. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement. But then, the lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing. But the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot. Fade to black. We had a run-in with the main suspect, the man in the red hood. He gave Millie quite a scare. Who knows what would have happened if we had gotten there just a little late. It was getting more obvious now. He's the one responsible for Flint's disappearance. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Paper City. I have an informant there that could know some things, and that's our best bet at the moment. Red, it seems, wants to get to Amber, so I figured I'd draw him out. Best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk, and we'll find out what happened to Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late. So when Millie survived, there's not really much of a difference in like the dialogue except for the fact that Millie does survive. Um, if you choose to guide the red man the opposite way down the out or the window instead of attacking Millie. Which is cool. So yeah, that's all for Bear With Me. Episode 1. We'll see what happens next time in episode 2 whenever that gets released. And yeah, I really enjoyed that. I love the way it was made as well. Alright, as I said, there's no really much of a difference except for the fact that Millie survives and there might be like a, this might make a lot of a difference for like episode two and so on and so forth, maybe if Millie survives in the first half. So maybe she becomes important or helps you later on. So we'll have like two saves, luckily, so. That's what happens when Millie survives. Bye guys, see you next time.